What is the most spectacular part of the car, you know, in your opinion? Well, if the interior of the car is is uh, is um, a real expression of Dan's capability, uh, the entire inside of the car is made to uh, have a utilitarian um, commercial type appearance while still being outstanding in terms of its fit, finish, and capability. You know, that, that's more in keeping with the sedan delivery uh, business type approach for the vehicles that, that was originally intended. And Dan fabricated every panel in there from sheet steel, and that includes door panels, the, fr uh, the uh, uh, panels in front of the doors, the entire sides of the cars, the wheel openings in the rear, the, the, the side panels. He's even made a panel that, uh, that fits the roof and creates the headliner to emulate where the original open roof was on these cars. These cars originally had a fabric roof and he's created that look on the inside of the car. So, so everything in there started out as a piece of flat sheet metal. It did. That he cut, molded, uh, stress relieved. I, I was noticing the screws that hold it on. He made every one of those raised. Right, he, he created a, a set of dies. We wanted the, the part of this industrial look, and it's, it's, it's incredible, is to have all the fasteners exposed. So the, the fasteners that hold all these sheet metal parts uh, to uh, the car not only were formed and located, they were embossed and then set in so that the screw fit right into them like, uh, like it was meant to be there. And each one of those, and there are hundreds, were done that way, and each one of those also had to have a corresponding anchor in the inside of the car for each one of those screws to go into. Oh my God. So it, it was a real piece of work, the forming of it, the, and then the detail in it, and the raised edges, and the uh, uh, moldings around it the, are, are all mir miraculous in terms of how they're uh, they appear and how you, they're done. You also met, talked to me a little bit about the uh, lettering on the side of the car, C&J Guaranteed R Rapid Delivery. That was a little goof uh, that, that Carol and I decided we'd utilize. And I wanted that, um, that graphic, if you will, to be inside the clear coat envelope of the car. So to do that, we initially painted just the, uh, what would have been the window opening, but that's closed in in a panel delivery. A sedan delivery. We we painted that, finished that primer, base coat, clear coat, and uh, then we just scuffed that with uh, 1,300 sandpaper to give it a little tooth. And then the uh, the graphic artist came and did the design, all, all, all on top of that base coat, clear coat that was already there. And then as the car was finished for uh, for final paint, that was masked off, and then the car was painted with base coat all over and then the masking was removed and when the clear coat was applied it was applied over everything so that graphic is encapsulated in the clear coat so it's if you touch it it's completely smooth just like the rest of the finish of the car. So halfway through this project you guys moved to Oregon? We did uh, and which, the is what, which is the reason for one of the delays in the project. The move uh, delayed us as we came out here and also I spent uh, a year or two or a little more building a shop out here while the car sat in its trailer uh, only completely disassembled. And then uh, when, when the shop was ready we brought it in and uh, I finished uh, the chassis work, reassembled the chassis, did all that, put the body on the chassis and when that body was on the chassis we, we, the car had come out here to Michigan. We towed it out in our trailer in, in a snowstorm, by the way, uh, to come out here. And then we towed around and towed it back so Dan could finish the interior work after the body was put back on the chassis. Oh my God, so you took it back east to have it finished. So most everything else is listed on, on the build sheet and the description by Dan. And uh, you've put about how many miles on the car since you... It has 280 miles 
Yeah, so, we, so 280 miles, um, I'm looking at uh, 15 years of starting, and now you're selling it. You know, it, it's a hard thing, but, uh, you know, as we talked about earlier, uh, it kind of just growed, it took on a life of its own, got out of hand, and when it was done, it wasn't a... Uh, it, it was it, it was a car that needed more attention than I was willing to give it. I was tired of towing cars around and whatnot, and I'd gotten rid of the trailer, and we weren't doing the car its justice. So we decided um, that best to maybe have someone else who might be interested uh, take on the project at this point. Admittedly, the project is completed, but maybe it, you know its exposure in terms of. Uh, uh, having it presented well could, could occur with a new so owner. How many times have you shown the car? Uh, just twice. Uh, we, uh, when Dan delivered the car, he brought the car back from Michigan. We uh, entered it in, in, uh, in the uh, Grand National Roadster Show in Pomona, California. Um, and he, he brought it out there and that's... Uh, Did you get an uh, award? It, it was uh, it one it was the best in its class. Wow. You know. So the car hasn't really been shown at this point. I mean, not not at all. And you brought it up from there and you did the local show here in Southern. We Oregon. did a, the local show here yeah. where it was yeah. best in show. So if a, a person's intent was they have a car that they could uh, enter into shows and, and possibly win whatever awards were available. If that was their desire, I think that's certainly possible. Okay, great. Well, John, I, I very much appreciate your time uh, with the car and and an explanation. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I uh, I feel uh, a little sad for the fact that you know um, some of your retirement is going to be flying away with wings when this leaves. Well, yeah, uh, it's it's not like we don't have other vehicles uh, over uh -huh. our retirement phase. When this one took so long, we added. Uh, one or two more to okay. fill in the blanks. All right. All right, John. Well, listen, again, thank you very much for your time. And uh, thank you, Ted. It was a pleasure speaking with you. All right. Thank you.